In today's video, the focus is going to be around drying towels. I've always struggled with good drying towels. I've got a trusty pair that I do use, one to take the majority of the water off and the other is more of a finishing towel, but they are well past their day. To join me today, where well, we're going to be trying out a new drying towel from a company that I've heard a lot of good stuff about and I've heard a lot of good stuff about this particular drying towel as well, but let's get into it. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell from that little intro there, the dish of the day today is going to be about drying towels or detailing in general. So whether you're a professional, whether you're a keen amateur, finding a good drying towel can either make your day or break your day. So if you find a bad one, it won't absorb it and it'll just make your day a little bit worse. But if you've got a brilliant one, then you know it's something that you can stick with. Now I haven't found that brilliant one for my personal use, but I was at Fitted a couple of weeks ago, or rather, when you're watching this video, not the week before, or the week before that, but the one before. It was over in Manchester, and one thing caught my eye, the Auto Finesse Stand. So the Auto Finesse Stand usually is a fairly large plot, fairly central in the shows. Now, they are at shows up and down the UK, but they have a lot of nice cars on there. They had a Mark II Golf, which was like a rally spec sort of car there, and they had their own project, which is a step wagon, which was revealed at Fitted. I've been to a lot of shows this year, and I've not once picked up a drying towel it's always because i'm a little bit unsure about whether it's going to be any good or anything but we've got the auto finesse aqua deluxe towel here that we're going to use today so it comes nicely packaged and it's also in this sort of minty green sort of color as i mentioned it is the aqua deluxe it's fairly fairly thick um you can feel that just through the packaging here but i guess it's one of them deep pile good absorption towels which i have been looking for so we're going to try that out we're going to give the car a good wash i've been up and down the country over the last couple of days so the car is absolutely filthy it's covered in all sorts of bugs all over the front it's got grime all over the wheels and the car just needs a very good wash i'm going to quickly run through some of the bits i'm going to be using it is a fairly eclectic mix of products over the years that i have collected and, and found to be very very good right so the first three products i'm going to speak about before we get into it are the sort of washing pre-wash and snow foam one so we've got the juicy details pre-wash i never used this before i did pick it up at fitted they were doing a deal where you got four for three in these 500 ml bottles which is quite handy but this is going to be used to get rid of all the grime and the bugs before we get into washing it second up we've got yold trustful which is the auto bright direct snow foam lance and the magi foam which is in there as well this product is fantastic if you haven't seen this product in action i will leave a link down to a video below where i talk about the lance and the magi foam again some rather cheap amazon alternatives alternatives so to finish off the washing of the exterior of the vehicle we're going to be using the dodo juice born to be mild and in a roundabout way this is designed to be as nice as possible to your paintwork wax sealant or ceramic coating whilst cleaning it as good as possible so these last two products are going to be in line with the wheels and the finishing of the vehicle some of you guys know that i've got new wheels for the gt86 so i want to take care of them so i'm actually going to be using the auto bright direct bright gel which i actually bought another batch of because it is so good it's in a gel consistency rather than a liquid but it's a relatively tame wheel cleaner that smells lovely that gets the job done with no fuss or hassle and last but by no means least is the auto bright direct sprints now if you haven't come across this this is a spray and rinse sealant so essentially once you've washed the body of the vehicle and once you've power washed it down apply this liberally all over the car make sure you've got good coverage power wash it off again and then this will stick to the paint it's this sio2 sort of chemical sealant style property which will then bond to your paintwork and give you insane beading and protection for roughly one two three months depending on where you go in the car and what you've sort of treated it with so that's the housekeeping bits out of the way and i just want to say if you do enjoy this video subscribe to the channel like this video comment down below what your favorite drying towels and cleaning products are because i do like to try other things as well but let's get into it.
Okay guys, so as you can see behind me, the car has been washed. Um, I've just got the wheels to do, then we're going to blast it off and then we're going to get the auto finesse drying towel out and see how it copes. Um, so all the products that I've used have been good, there will be reviews on them on the channel in the future. Especially the juicy details when I've got quite a bit from them and some snow foam as well which everybody loves. I'm going to finish the wheels and then I'm going to blast it off and then we'll bust out the drying towel. Okay so to apply the Sprint's products what you actually need to do is to blast off the car panel by panel, spray this over it, blast it off again and then dry it down. Just a quick note about the drying towel, I've actually got it out of the packaging now and it is incredibly thick. I think it's actually thicker than the quilt I've got on my bed. But once we've blasted off the SiO2 product we'll then dry it down with this. Okay, so first impressions of the Auto Finesse drying towel. It is thick, it does pick up the water. Uh, I'm tempted to say it might be too thick. It's a bit awkward to handle when, you, when you've actually folded it up. Um, I'm gonna carry on with the rest of the car and then once we're finished, I'll go back into the garage and we'll speak about what I think about this drying towel. Okay, so we are back in the garage. The car is clean and by God it is satisfying getting it clean when it is so dirty. So the products that I've used, the different ones that I haven't used before, the Juicy Details pre-wash, very good actually. Um, did a very good job in getting the bug and grime off before actual washing or contact washing. Um, impressed with that, will continue to use that. The Auto Finesse towel, which essentially is what this video was centered around, Good towel, you know, I would recommend you going out and buying one to try it. The only difficulty from my point of view was that it's very, very thick and once it collects a bit of water and you fold it over trying to get to the mother parts, you end up with a towel that's about this thick. Um, that's the only downside for me. Is it worth looking at? Yes. Is it worth trying? Yes, definitely. Um, I would recommend going to see Auto Finesse at a show. They do a discount price of a tenner, I think it is, on the towel, which is what I picked it up for. Um, I will continue to use it as the other ones are a bit tattered let's say uh, not you know past their their, their best condition um, but I will continue to use other ones. That brings me to the end of the video and as always if you have enjoyed it I would really appreciate it if you could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I do everything from modifications, track days, events, car cleaning stuff, product reviews on this channel. So if that's the type of thing that you're interested in in terms of cars, automotive in general, I also do car reviews, then drop a subscribe, keep up to date with what I'm doing and as always I'll catch up with you next time.